And we have Dana Karstensen, who is with us. Dana was on the Progressive Oregon show already. He's running for Oregon Metro Council District 4. That is another one of those rules that has more power than you think. And I'm excited to talk to Dana because he's got some really progressive ideas on what he can do, specifically with garbage, mm -hmm. right, which is a yep. big, interesting thing. So, uh, Dana Karstensen, thank you for joining us uh, here Thanks on No More Fools. Yeah, so... Um you know, I, I've been working with Metro for five, uh, five years now. I started there as a low-income worker at uh, one of their facilities, the Oregon Zoo. They run their place. Uh, now I'm a hazardous waste technician, but I also have a degree in planning. And Metro has so much potential as a regional planning agency. I, I've been wanting to run for a while now. And so now I've put my name in the, in the hat, and now I'm trying to go with it. Uh, one of the things I'm trying to go for is actually a, a waste of energy system system. Um, a video has been going around the internet lately about Sweden and yes. how they have a really successful waste to energy system. And I've been working to implement something like that because Metro is in control of about a million and a half tons of trash uh, from the region. Uh, you know, if we took all of that trash in the region and, and we put it through a waste to energy facility, uh, it could produce five to 15 percent of the region's energy needs and be carbon negative with the process i'm proposing uh, which is pyrolysis right so you're I, talking about let's just make sure but you're talking about clean burning all yeah. of our garbage or most of our garbage right uh, yeah. uh in in a way that produces fuel and uh, doesn't uh, mess up the atmosphere or our ground like landfills do right yeah exactly so the cool thing about pyrolysis which is not incineration like everyone typically thinks uh, pyrolysis is the heating of something in the absence of oxygen. It's how charcoal is made. Right. So you get three things, char, oil, and natural gas. The oil and natural gas, you can turn that through uh, into electricity through combustion. Uh, but because it produces char, you know, carbon, uh, you can use that as a soil amendment uh, in the agricultural fields or wherever you want. And it makes the process carbon negative. You're putting carbon from the atmosphere into the soil, locking it in. So it's carbon negative. So it's clean. It's cheap, and you're not dumping it into a giant landfill. And by the way, 10% of all the methane produced in, you know, in the atmosphere, which is a super greenhouse gas, is from landfills. That's yeah, it, it, exactly. And and uh, I used to work in the emissions industry, and so I'm very familiar with this. And uh, we could have upgraded our landfills and be gone with them a long time ago. I mean, France has done this. As you said latest video was going around about was it Switzerland that's now importing garbage. Sweden, right? yeah. Sweden, Sweden's importing garbage from other countries just to burn it for fuel because they get like a one to th a three to one ratio, right? Yep. It's uh, it, it's incredibly efficient, and there's so much embedded energy. That's uh, if I could just magically snap my fingers and turn all that trash into energy you'd get about 20 percent of the region's energy needs and that's nearly two million people that's a huge potential uh why we're just trucking at oregon and you know, in the metro region we truck it 150 miles east to dump it and then we truck 150 miles back that makes no sense we've been doing that for over 20 years it's time for something different something more progressive and forward thinking yeah, it's really inefficient, wastes a lot of fuel, and it reminds me of the, the uh, King County scam, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they have their garbage all the way to one of our landfills, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a, the landfill industry is just a big embedded industry like everything else that we see in our yeah. corporate world. Outside of that, with uh, Metro District 4, what, you know, what else are you trying to bring into that district? Why did you decide to run for this position? Yeah, um, you know, another passion of mine, we... With Oregon growing so fast, and more specifically the Portland metropolitan region, uh, affordable housing is becoming a critical issue. Uh, but we need more than just cheap housing, and we need more than just affordable housing blocks being built. We need actual communities built. And so I'm proposing that we build, uh, or rather we use the government to fund community land trusts. Community land trusts create permanent affordability by giving ownership to whomever lives on the land. So you can't have profiteers coming and trying to flip land, artificially inflating prices. I'm also proposing that on top of those community land trusts, we build limited equity cooperatives. So whomever lives in those units collectively owns the building. Again, preventing people from coming in and trying to profit off one's need for a home. You know, that's why it's not affordable because everybody's trying to profiteer off of someone's need to have a, have a place to sleep. Uh, you cannot have affordable housing ever 
when you're constantly having tr uh, people trying to take advantage of you. Wow. So community land trusts and limited equity cooperatives would solve that. And Metro is a perfect platform to do that because we're a regional planning agency. We cover three counties and 24 cities. Each of those three counties and every single one of those 24 cities has affordable housing crisis. It, you know, it's a regional concern now, so it's Metro's responsibility, I believe, to help solve that issue. And not just with emergency housing or... Right. And this is huge. I, I just, I, what, what's amazing about this, or what for me is like a massive eye opener, is that you're running for this position that most of us would never even heard of or cared about until yeah. we got involved in politics. But there's so much power there for the region. Yeah. You can change. And once you make that change, that can spread out to the state. And we, yeah. we always try to start at the top. And why can't we change everything up here? But, you yeah. know, you see where you've been. In the, I mean, you're, you're a public servant already. And this is, this, you, you're just like ready for the next step up in the chain. It's a beautiful... A thank Thank you for your service to the government. Oh, the thank you. I, thanks for having me here. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, where, where can everybody go to support you? And are you going to be anywhere where they can find you and, and meet you? Shake your hand. Yeah. Um, well, you can go to my website, DanaCarstensen.com. Uh, awesome. I would love to have contributions from you. Anything and everything. You know, $5 would be great. Um, I'm, it's an uphill battle when it comes to uh, campaign contributions because, because Metro is a regional planning agency. Land developers love to pump money into this race, and I'm not taking any developer money. My right. competitor is, but I'm not. Uh, so if you go to my website, you can donate there. I believe on the 4th, uh, I will be at a candidate forum at the Washington County uh, candidate forum. Uh, you could just go to my website, uh, throw me a message, and I can give you uh, information on that also. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to meet anybody who's interested and you know, if anybody just goes to my, you know, my Facebook page also and throws me a message, I'll answer. Have any questions for me? Feel free to throw it my way. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for running, Dana. We really appreciate it. It's the hardest thing to do in this. And you're running in a race that it doesn't get the limelight. It doesn't get the, the star-studded appeal, um, kind of like Joanne. But there's certainly a lot of power to wield for somebody okay. who wants to make progressive change. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Dana Carstensen, everybody, a Metro Council District 4, and somebody who actually knows what to do in the role and do something yeah. with it. That's right. potential. Shocking.